Hey Sag, welcome to your weekly reading for April 26th to May, uh, yeah, May 2nd. <laughs> My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. All right, so let's see where we go. If you guys are on Instagram, make sure you give me a follow. Um, I do post a bunch of different readings over there, um, different little educational stuff around spirituality. So if you're interested in that, um, the link for that is down below, okay? So we have transformation here that came out for you guys. And then we also have travel. And then we have dreams behind that and spirit guide behind that. Uh, these are all in the bottom of the deck here. Some of you are um, traveling in your dreams. There's like astral travel or something like that. Like you could be, and I also feel like a lot of you could be communicating in your dreams with like either loved ones or just like guides. I think they're trying to guide you almost like in your dreams or communicate somehow. Like there's, there's so if you guys are um, having a lot of dreams or you're, um, you know, you know that you're having them or you wake up, you know, realizing that you had dreams, then, um, try to start writing them down if you can before you kind of forget them keep a, a journal there um with the transformation card again i just feel like a lot of you guys are there's some changes that are happening in your life a lot of you are moving forward you're progressing um i feel like you're moving into a better place um i'm really attracted to like the light here in between the butterfly so again i feel like you guys are moving kind of like in the right direction if that's what you're worried about Okay, hold on a second here. I'm just gonna put all of these back because it was a little chaotic. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know for the week spirit? So what is going on with Sagittarius? Sagittarius, what's going on? What's going on? It's also a lot. Things are, there we go. All right, five of pentacles, three of pentacles, the sun. Again, there's that light. We have the knight of cups, the three of cups, and the king of swords. And then we have the ten of swords, the page of pentacles, and the ten of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pentacles. So. Um, I feel like you guys are kind of like focused on something. There's definitely been like, you know, possibly a loss of something and like a rebuild. But again, it's like you're rebuilding things the way you almost like want them to be. Um, you're moving them in a direction that like feels a lot better too. Some of you are like setting yourself free from something as well is what I'm getting from this sun card. Um, you've been working on that, especially if there's something with regards to like financial matters or even just something within like work, like some of you could have left a job um, and you're doing something else, you're working on something else. Some of you, it's like your own business as well. Um, so that's the recent past, your current energy with the Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups and the King of Swords. I feel like somebody's um, maybe wanting to communicate with you. There could be a little bit of like, I don't know if this is a past person or not, we're gonna kind of see. Um, I do feel like they want to communicate. There's somebody here who very clearly wants to communicate their feelings for you, how they feel about you. It could be somebody even in your social circle. I feel like I feel like you know this person somehow. I don't really know if you're super close to them, but they're kind of like within the groups of people that you hang out with kind of on a daily or a weekly basis. Like you see this person often, but they may be somebody, you could just work with this person as well. Um, in the near future, we have the Ten of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So leaving something behind with that Ten of Swords, something that was hurt, you know, hurtful, possibly some sort of a betrayal, but I feel like you're kind of moving in a new direction here. Some of you are entering a new relationship. Um, and it's like you're taking your kids with you is also what I got. Um, so some of you could be entering a new relationship and there's maybe children involved. Um, I feel like if you have children, you have one child. This other person may have other other children. Um, but if not, I just see you moving to a better place. Like you're you're happier. 
uh, with like where you're going or you really enjoy even what you're learning. So if you're moving in a new direction in that sense, you're definitely walking away from something. Again, there's a lot of changes happening. This is a, a big period of transformation, but you're working on yourself, which is why um, I think that's why there's new things that kind of keep coming up here for you guys. So let's see what this three of pentacles here is or is here in the recent past for Sagittarius. What's this three of pentacles in the recent past for Sag? We have the six of swords. Again, there's like, like that travel energy. So some of you are like moving somewhere and or like relocating and like rebuilding yourself. We have justice. There could be some sort of like new contract. Some of you are starting a new job and you have to move for it. You're excited about it, whatever it is. Um, I, again, I feel like it makes it, it brings a new element of like life to your life. Queen of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you have been like, you were very clear on your manifestation of like what it was that you wanted. Or you've made, you made a choice here. Because even with the Seven of Cups, it's like, you might have had options as to which direction you were going. So you made a decision, you left something behind, you cut something out. Um, so let's see what this is going on here in the current energy. We got the Three of Cups here. So let's see what this is, Saj. What is this Three of Cups here for you guys in the current energy this week? Page of Wands. Tell me more about this Three of Cups, please, for Sagittarius. Knight of Wands. It could be a person trying to communicate with you. It could be somebody from your past. Is this somebody from the past? It's coming in really quick, whatever this is. It could be somebody wanting to heal something for you, but otherwise I just see it some, something again. It's like making you really happy. Some of them want to heal a connection. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Somebody maybe wants to put in the effort. Yeah, this is a past person. I keep, I kept wanting it to not be a past person. Maybe you want a past person back, but um, a lot of people don't. Uh, we have the High Priestess here at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody you haven't been talking to um, and they are gonna come forward and communicate with you here. You might be a little bit cold towards this person. Um, yeah, we have the Hermit clarifying the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. A lot of you are trying to avoid conflict with this person. Um, and again, you could be just kind of being really reserved in your energy, not really giving them a whole lot. You could also just be very clear. Tell me more about this King of Wands. The Fool. Yeah, you don't want to jump into this too fast, I feel. Because I feel like this person wants to offer you something. I kind of almost get there could be an apology There's a lot of communication here, though, but it is reconciliation. Um, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What's what's this offer here from this Knight of Cups? Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles here. Page of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. This is Seven of Cups here. This person wants to, um, I think they want to change. Um, I think their perspective on this situation has changed. They may see something they didn't see before. I know, I feel like they've kept, they kept you very confused. They hurt you. Um, this could have been even what you walked away from, but it's like they're coming back around. With the Page of Swords, I feel like they've watched you for a while or they've got their eye on you. They are coming forward here. But it's like they want to overcome all the things that you guys have maybe gone through in the past. Um, it's like they want to put the work in. They see th they see it from a different perspective here. What's your view on this? What's Saj's view? How does Saj feel about this? Magician. So you guys might have manifested this back. But I also feel like you're you're gonna get what you want. I also feel like it's like you're getting what you want because you're standing in your power. So whether that's this person sticking around or not, you're standing in your, your power here with the Queen of Wands and the Empress. You're standing in your power. And I feel like 
Again, you're manifesting what you want. Some of you have manifested this person back and you wanted a legitimate offer from this person. I feel like you're getting that. Um, I feel like you need to have a serious conversation with this person, but um, what's this magician here for? Clarify the magician. What is this magician here for Sagittarius? Seven of Wands. It's almost like you wanted them to fight for you. And I kind of feel like they are. They are actually going to invest. What's this Page of Pentacles in the near future? We have the Eight of Cups, the Lovers. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. So you've been waiting. Um, you walked away and you waited for this person to come back around. But in the meantime, I feel like you really worked on yourself. Tell me about this Ten of Cups here. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. You're, like you were determined to get what it was that you wanted. Like you want this Ten of Cups. Um, and if that meant walking away from something, you know, when you um, what's kind of coming to my mind is that saying of like, um, you know, let something go and it'll come back to you if it's, you know, if it's meant to be in your life kind of thing. I saw Eleven Eleven, but um, it's like, you know, if you let it go, if it's meant to be in your life, it's going to come back. And I feel like that's kind of almost what you guys did. You let something go and you allowed something to come back towards you. Um, and I feel like it is a more stable situation because we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And I also feel like this person's actually going to express how they feel towards you. If it's not a past person, it's somebody who you have a strong connection with and it's it's somebody who's giving you what you didn't have in the past. It's somebody who's giving you um, a relationship that you've wanted, you've manifested, that you've been determined to go towards. There still may be a past person here that comes back and talks to you, but I feel like a lot of you want either this connection to move in a very new direction um, or it's like you're wanting to move towards new love here. But I see you guys getting what you want um, regardless because you've, stayed, you've stood in your power here and you know, you're not accepting anything less. So what is, uh, what is the advice for Sagittarius this week? Spirit, what is the advice for Sag? We have the Nine of Wands. Tell me more about the advice for Sag, please. Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords. Um, open yourself up. Um, I feel like some of you could be a little bit guarded still. So especially if this is a past person, like, you know, maybe having to open up yourself because you are coming up as the King of Swords, which could be a little bit cold. So you may need to open yourself up in, um, to this connection. And if this is a new person, there could be old wounds that are kind of keeping you a little bit closed off from that. We have the Eight of Swords, the Moon. So a lot of you are up in your head about how you feel about a situation or a person here. Um, but like allow love into your life here. And I also feel like a lot of you have put a lot of energy and effort or keep putting in the energy and the effort in to heal your heart. Um, yeah, a lot of you are determined to, Ten of Pentacles and Hierophant, like you're determined to get what you want. And I feel, I feel like it's coming in towards you. Just You just have to keep moving forward. And I think you guys are going through a big change in your life. So that is what I have for you, Saj. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you in the next video. Bye.